So today we're talking about this beauty. It's the TCL 55 inch series 5 4K HDR TV with built-in Roku. Today I'm going to show you some tips, tricks and settings that you need to know about. Let's do it. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do after you finish setting it up is go into systems and you're going to go all the way down until you see system updates. Now it's very important to run an update on these smart TVs. New software, new facilities are constantly being developed. TCL is really doing an amazing job keeping us updated. So make sure your TV is always up to date with the latest and greatest. Yes, it will update as you install it, but I like to kind of double check on this every couple of days just to be safe. There's a couple of seconds to do and it's really worthwhile doing. If you're finding that your TV is running a bit slow or it's not streaming the services correctly, go ahead and check your network connections. You do that by going into settings, going into network, go down to where it says check connection, let it run a self check to understand maybe something's happened to your Wi-Fi, maybe you need to reset, let it tell you if there's something wrong. Right, since we're still in systems, go all the way down until you see power on. This is a great facility that doesn't actually go to the default homepage, but it allows you to change it. So you can say, every time I switch the TV on, let it go to the last used TV input. It could be your PlayStation, it could be your DVR, it could be whatever it may be. So that's the first thing. The second thing is go down to where it says fast start and you want to enable fast start. It just takes the TV out of so-called standby mode and gets you operating very quickly. Now that your TV is set up, what you can do is start actually customizing it, making it feel exactly the way that you want it to feel. So for example, go to one of the icons, press the star button, and you've got a couple of options. You can rename, remove, move around. I'm gonna choose rename. Gonna go all the way down to the bottom until you see something called set custom name and icon. There it is. Now, I don't wanna call it PlayStation, I'm gonna call it PS4, for example. It could be dad's only gaming i don't know whatever you want to call it set the name set the icon and there it is now i can customize it i can even move things around so if i don't want it to be the first thing i want it to be the second etc i love the way that roku allows you to really make the tv your own now with the tcl it does come with a built-in antenna if you still haven't cut the cord you're able to set that up as well but i have so i'm gonna just basically click on it and then click on remove antenna tv and of course you can get this menu option back if you do decide to rejoin later on as we know with streaming services some stuff's free and sometimes you gotta pay for it well i like this option called featured free now what's pretty cool is that even if you don't have that app installed, you can still see what is available across all the apps and what's available for free. So maybe something's gonna catch your attention and you go ahead and install that particular app. Right, another cool thing, if you are playing a video, click on the option button on the little star and essentially allows you to customize a bunch of things. For example, the TV brightness. Depends where your room is, you might wanna change that. Your picture mode, I like to set it to vivid as it really kind of pops those colors out. If I'm watching a movie, perhaps I'll change it down to movie. So don't just accept the default, you can actually customize it. TCL really gives you a lot of options to play with, especially when it comes to the viewing experience. And of course, the sound experience allows you to be customized as well. Customization is pretty key for us. What TV doesn't come with the remote, right? So this is the TCL 55 inch series five. It comes with its own remote to take advantage of the built-in Roku features. Pretty simple to use, nice and big buttons. I like the fact that the volumes are on the side as well. Just kind of, you can really feel in the dark and know where it's volume up or down. But since we live in 2019, Roku and TCL allow you to connect your phone app to the TV itself. So now I can control my Roku directly being on the Wi-Fi directly from my phone. So there it is, I'm playing with all the menu options, very much like I would with the remote control. And there's a bunch of tips and tricks within the app itself, which are actually pretty cool to know. So go into the app, go into the remote control portion, and you got this thing that looks like headphones. Press on that, and you'll enter something called private listening activated. That mutes the TV, and now all the audio is gonna come out of your phone. So whatever's connected to your phone, be it the headphone jacks, if your phone still has it, or a Bluetooth headphones, you can now listen in private, and when you no longer need it, basically disable it by tapping the button again. Love this. 
Another option, being able to control the volume. Of course, volume up, volume down. Look at the back there, the TV. There we go, up and down, straight from the app. So if you, because you know, we typically watch our TV with our phones in our hands as a second screen. Well, now it becomes even more useful. Another option is be able to share music, photos, videos straight from your phone. So now I've connected in the app itself. I press whichever photo I want to share and it will appear on the screen. Now that's not the only way that you can actually get your media onto the TV. Simply plug your USB into the back of the TV, go into the media player and here you can choose what kind of media you want to display, video, audio, photos and of course a bunch of settings to play with. But simply plugging your USB stick into the back of the TV, your external hard drive, you're able to immediately share your media with everybody. <laughs> Right back onto your settings, you've got something called streaming channels and under streaming channels is a subcategory called 4K UHD content available. So let's just say beautiful 4K HD TV, well we might as well take advantage of it, right? And in here you've got all the apps that allow you to stream 4K content including YouTube. Simply go in there, add YouTube as a channel and now you're able to access things. Oh look, there's Grant from the King of Random. So I can add this to my viewing list. Now this TCL is such a beautiful TV that even when it's off, it can still be used as a work of art. So I like to go find the screensaver apps, find one that you like, and then simply click on it, click on add channel. And that's the nice thing, everything is simply just a button away. If you've added the wrong thing, remove it and then try another one. So go into the channel itself, and now what you can do is you can leave it playing and you're going to get beautiful 4K imagery playing on your TV. It's just a beautiful work of art to look at. So hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks that you can set up on your TCL TV, making it even more amazing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. We do tips, tricks, gadget apps right here. Hit the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos which are down here. And I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.